Hey everyone, welcome back. And yes, The Mandalorian is finished. Um, there'll be a short video after this introduction so you get to see it because I didn't think quick enough to make sure I took pictures before I boxed, packaged it up and sent him to his home. And I was like, oh crap, but at least I did get a video. So welcome to week seven on the Tiger Tank build. And as I've said, I'm going to be doing a diorama, so that's what I'm getting started on this week. Um, checking, I, I'm working with one building I've never worked with before, and then uh, I got another really good one, but there's some things you'll see in the video of things that I'm going to have to fix with it. But it's, it's cool, it's not bad. And yes, my printer is going nuts right now. So yes, just a tiger this um, right now until I get a little further into the diorama. To where I can start another build and I promise you the next build is going to be in the Starship era line uh, I, I, I need to I need to sink my teeth back into a Starship so yes I haven't decided which Starships or which spaceships I'm going which build I'm going to do yet but uh, I might pull three out and let you guys choose when I when I decide to get started on that because this diorama is going to take a little bit of time as you will see with the things I'm like I said I'm doing to help improve and add more detail to one of the buildings but hey I like it so with that guys if you are new to my channel please click on the subscribe button click on the little bell you know every time I upload a video and as always I thank you to all my subscribers I really really warms my heart and I appreciate it and we're, we're at uh, 443 so we're getting close we've got seven more to go so um, then I can do that giveaway um, so yeah we're getting there we're getting there keep my fingers crossed but if you do have a question on something that I that I've showed in my video something I was doing in my video um, a technique I did or you know doing enhancements or you know whatever um, please if you have a question, put it in the put it in the comments section, and you know if you, you can say, "Hey, but how'd you do this? Hey, why did you do that?" Or, "Hey, but could you just do a video on just this technique?" Put it in there, and I will respond. And I also respond with, "Hey, Buck, great job. Hey, Buck, wow. Or, hey, Buck, what the heck were you thinking?" Like I said, just put it in the comments section, and I usually answer within 12 to 24 hours. But enough of that. Let's go to the studio. Well, good morning, Tuesday, and back to work. Um, so now Sundays and Mondays are my pretty much my two days off a week because on Sunday, um, spend time with you know my daughter and granddaughter and um, Tyrell, her future husband and future to be husband. But uh, and then um, I have me and me and I have the great honor of being able to keep Melody overnight Sunday and spend a great deal of time so with her so yeah Monday Sundays and Mondays are now officially family days until you know Melody we don't have to watch Melody on Monday or Sunday night and I'll be back to work on Monday but sorry about that but yes Mandalorian is now done I got to do a little bit of dusting to get rid of the shine but I thought I'd share this with you guys and forgive me for the jerk the hand camera function because um, this guy is just, he's big, and I want to, and I can't do it where I normally do my, my videos, so, but yeah, and let's kind of go in here a little bit, and we turn, and go this way. Grogu. There's that. And there's that. Okay, guys, um, let me get things reset and show you what I'm going to get started on this week. All right, so starting this week, I'm going to start uh, getting the um, soldiers and stuff, getting them ready, getting them primed. 
um, so I can get the figures all squared up for the tank for the tiger and also going to get started on working on the diorama display sorry guys kind of got it out of the way because Let me, give me one second. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, okay. Guess I'll have to do it like this. So, some really pretty good casting work. I mean, this stuff is great. My only issue right now with it, because it's a diorama, this is the outer wall, but um, the, the bricking faces inside and not on the outside of the building. So I gotta start working on that, but first I gotta get these two secured so I can do that. And, uh, but yeah, really, really neat. So I'm looking forward to this, getting these done. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to start another, other build besides what I'm doing right now because I kind of want to focus on the diorama. And, but I did want to share my Boba Fett is now done printing. Let's, let me zoom out a little bit. And very, very neat. I mean, very, very neat. Um, the rifle, his rifle. But yeah, it's, it's really neat. And um, I got the jetpack. I got everything. And to kind of just show you this, if I can keep it all together. But as we've seen in this, the new series, he's got that drop cloak behind. So yeah, it's it's really really neat, and um, the, there's that his symbol. So yeah, that's where I'm at, guys. Kind of I know, kind of short, sweet, boring, but uh, um, but yeah. So I'm deciding what I'm going to do. I might put him back and for a little bit. I don't know yet, but uh, hey, more to do. So let me get working on getting these figures um, put together and. Seam work done so I can get them primed and to go. So I will return when I have more to show. Okay guys, so I've gotten one set of the um, Tamiya 135th scale um, German soldiers done, but I wanted to show you. I, and sorry about the mess. And um, unlike other Tamiya kits, um, their instructions are on the back of this, which parts go to which. And they give you the colors, but I'm still, I mean, I can just go online and um, Google or whatever search, you know, to me, XF49. I got a lot of them, and I will I'll share that with you um, as I go to do this. But, um, so here starts the guys. And there's a there's a thing, I, I, I've, I've done a, quite a few of these, and there's some things that uh, I've learned through this, through going and doing it, so... I'm going to share that with you at least on a couple of these. So, if you look at this sprue, um, to me it outlines it very well. So on the back side we have C, D, and E, and then right here this is A and this is B. Um, pretty simple, I mean, you know, it's kind of, you know, I mean it is simple, but um, one, of the, one of the first things I do and um, is I start, you know, doing pre-build parts. So, and depending on how comfortable you are or what you want to do, um, you can put the whole thing together, the whole, whole, you know, all the pieces together, and then try to paint. Or you can do what I do, and I, um, I get the legs, and then I get the torso on, and that's it. Everything else. Um, it's kind of, I, I kind of try to paint as I, I can, or, you know, um, but what it is, is because these guys are so small, so crazy. So say you, this guy right here, he's bent. And if you put the head and all the arms and everything on, you're going to have a very hard time trying to get in there and get that, take care of that paint. So things that I've learned through, you know, Doing the builds is, um, I work in subsections on a lot of things, and I think you guys have figured that out. Um, I like to do, you know, subsections. And then I have these awesome little sanding blocks, so I don't use them as much as I like to, but uh, on here, on these guys, 
they're they're great on um, taking care of you know very small areas so you can save on your sandpaper and all that so again always always test fit you know try to you know make sure it's you know gonna work good or do you need to do any more sanding or not and this is doing great so I uh, you know I like the CA but on these guys I I try to go more with my Tamiya extra thin cement because CA is great but sometimes it's just a little too um, too fast curing on some things you know if you've ever used it and it really can be a pain okay so these two parts are now together and they're pretty well good I mean there's gonna be some seam work some putty work but hey that is unless I push it apart like that because I keep fiddling with it okay so there is that one and this is a so I've also marked out different bags which you know a B or C or you know um, that way I don't uh, don't forget which bottom part goes to which you know or basically with the arms and the head and all that um, go to the right right screw so I'm going to do one more and, and go from there okay again you know just you know the great thing about when Tamiya does certain things with the way they do their kits is um, so let's say like right right here on the back of the coat you can see that little little section right there with the where it was attached to the sprue and the great thing that I found through Tamiya is they really um, that's awesome because then you can just take it down with a, an exacto knife and a, and a, a sand piece of sandpaper afterwards and now we're gonna go here just double checking my fit okay more a little bit and yeah there is no um, pinage there's no no connection pins it's all flat smooth surfaces um, which is kind of cool because then you can you know just makes it a lot easier to there's no point in putting a a locking pin on something this small and that was B okay guys so that's that part uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing some of the pre-construction and then uh, get on to some painting or or get at least get started on the buildings on the diorama so get those guys put together but let me get back to getting these guys squared away and I will return well good Thursday afternoon took a bit of the morning off and getting back to work um, this is going on um, the diorama base this is a, a bombed out building um, this one is by core make I've never used them before and I don't know if I'm gonna use them again but I'm gonna see this is actually um, real good styrofoam I'm sorry about Gabriella whining but it, it's different I'm gonna I'm, I'm playing around with it I'm gonna see what I'm liking um, so I've gotten a lot of the styrofoam the foam pieces the, and these were all laser cut out um, together and then I started um, working on the wood now I know I'm going to repaint all this and do all that so I'm not worried about that but uh, I do suggest find um, I'm using clear Gorilla Glue I like it it works pretty good um, or heck you could probably even do a lot of it with just uh, Elmer's glue so yeah, so what I'm doing right now is I'm working on getting the wood trims in. And like I said, it's something I've never really worked with before, but hey, I'm going to try it anyway. So I got these all in, the bigger parts, and started on the smaller pieces. So let me show you. So yeah, yeah, I know I'm kind of rambling there. So I'm going to do G5, and I'm just using my X-Acto knife get that out 
and I have my sanding stones that help really well with this and I take out that bit of part that didn't come out or you know clean up that edge so this is G5 and it's really good because you can you see where a lot of the pieces because they're all done in um, like I said I'm still trying to decide whether or not I like this but we'll see um, sorry had it backwards but so yeah still can't get it in because this moved yeah, let's get you moved back up. Okay. Now let's see if you're going to fit right. So, thought I had everything in place and drying well, but not so much. But that's okay. So, let's see. Let's keep trying this. I've never actually worked, like I said, I've never worked with this. So, I'm hoping that I can do it. And if I can actually get it in the right spot and the right way around. Let's... Give me a second guys. Sorry about that. I uh, had to get that worked out but let's try another one here real quick. So I'm going to do G1, this guy right here. Get them out. Oh. Give a little bit of love sand. And there. Okay. Now I usually try to use the I, I like using my toothpicks for this, but sometimes they just don't do as well. Um but let's give it another shot. Let's see. Okay. Now we're going to get you. And then, like I said, just um, like I said, I'm following the lines built in or etched in. And then I press down to make sure it sits right. And then whatever little cleanup I need to do, I can do later. But let's do a bigger one real quick. Little, we little small ones are kind of something. So each five. Sorry. Okay, making sure. So we're gonna do this one. We're gonna do this one right here. Like I said. We'll, I'll see how it keeps working out, but uh, then I'll sign off and not make you watch me put wood down. <laughs> um, it it it's not bad. I will say that I kind of I do like it, but um, we'll see. So there we go. So that one worked pretty. See if I can stay in camera for you. So I'm doing that one right there. like that and then I like I said I press it down to the Gorilla Super the, the Gorilla Clear Super Glue is really really nice I like it I've used it a lot in a lot of things but uh, so yeah so that's what I'm doing right now and then I'm gonna start filling in some of the seam lines on the soldiers and uh, start getting some more painting down and but yeah I, I'm working on the buildings right now and I found a program or a file um, because if you guys noticed the base was a little too small and um, for the house for that big the store the cottage the big white one you saw me so I found a program that I can print out cobblestone so yay so that's what my printer is working on right now so I can help design the base so with that guys I'm gonna turn off the camera now and uh, get back to work all right, guys, I'm starting on the next building, or the bigger one, the one I showed you first. Um, got everything secured, but here's one thing. So, 
The outside you can tell is textured nice and beautiful, but on the inside just plain. And then this inside is brick, you can tell, but then on the outside it's just smooth, plain. So what I'm doing is I have a bunch of these extra little um, stones and stuff I ordered ordered and what I'm trying what I'm doing is um, the most important thing is I'm trying to match on the side here because I don't know if you ever done any brick laying or block laying or whatever but mostly this continues through here at least to the you know to the corner at least to this far so I'm matching where they are here to the side at least for that and then I'm just going to go you know nuts with it so um, just go crazy but as you can see I did do the bottom on this side and starting to do and um, you if you have a question you, you're going okay how do I get that brick line stuff in there well that's where that comes in and then I'm going to show you how I can take a lot of that depth out I'll, I'll share that with you uh, but that's what I'm doing right now so let me do a real and the great thing about these is you can actually cut them um, pretty good they're they're soft and pliable so um, I'm just kind of trying to find the ones that best match or close to a match and if I have to I'll do a little more work now they might not be exact um, of course but that's okay because you know it's, it's what we do so sorry if I'm rambling there guys I'm just trying to find it I think I'm gonna go with that one so I'm going to use this one to make this narrow one. And the great thing, let me see if I can move this without breaking it. Um, the great thing, like I said, with these is there is, you can do a lot of good work with them. You know, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, you can work with these pretty easily. Actually, I think I'm going to go with this instead. I'm going to go there. Okay change your mind but here let me show you real quick because I'm gonna use that one and let's see do I have any um, okay so let's say we got that little, little let me zoom it back in so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing okay so I'm gonna do this you know and if you need to get an angle you, you know or change whatever you can take your exacto knife and just slightly pressure and you can do things like you know get it get it cut or change it up a bit kind of like that you know or even grind it down and go from there but that's you know that's what I am at right now let's take you okay. that's good and I'm using CA CA is probably I've worked with these a lot and the CA works really well sorry uh, I'll unzoom here in just a second Darn it. okay we're gonna unzoom so now I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get it put on there. And like I said, the CA is really good because it allows you to do so much. And there, oh, keep it in camera, and there's that. So that's what I'm working on right now, guys. This is, you know, um, like I said, the diorama is, is a big project in and of itself. So that's what I'm working on. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. And also, like I said, I got better, I found better files for cobblestone streets and stuff. But yeah, so that's where I'm at right now, guys. Just working on laying brick. So I'm going to get back to work and I will return. Good morning, Friday and getting back to work. Um, I, something was nagging at me yesterday, so I did some research. And um, like I said, because... The, the detail and the rock out here and nothing in here and then shows brick in here but nothing out here so um, did some research and well yes this is the front this will not carry over to here because of the brick so I'm going to have to redo that and I've already started but also um, 
going to use a lot of this. I'm going to try to keep as much, but I'm going to make detail to keep this as like, oh, this is plaster. But actually, I like the rock edifice, and some of the pictures I have seen it did do that. So I'm going to take the, uh, the, uh, the stone that I was using here. I'm going to continue this line on the edge and then go brick. But um, I'm going to take this and use it on the inside, and then I have some wee, wee little bricks. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, just getting stuff redone. So this is pretty much going to be what my day is going to be today. Is trying to get the detail on this um, more up and keep going. But uh, just want to share that little oops uh, kind of thinking. Um, now I did like to carry it over, but then I got thinking, well, they put brick detail in here, but no brick detail out here, and they wouldn't plaster this. They might plaster the inside, but they won't plaster the outside. I, I don't think. Um, I might be wrong on a lot of that, but. So yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. So the fun of putting these little, little bricks in. So, yay! But uh, as I get further along, I'll come back and share with you. I'm, like I said, not much, um, to sh you know, because this is going to take a while. So, um, let me get started and let's see how where it goes today. All right, well, getting bricks down, as you can probably tell. Um, and I, I really do like working with this. I mean, I worked with the, when I really got the first time is I worked with stuff like this, the bricks, and that was when I did that lighthouse uh, a couple of years ago for my mother-in-law for Christmas. And kind of felt, I kind of really, really, really liked it. So, some things I learned about it, and you bricklayers probably can tell me that if I'm right or wrong but um, growing up I, I, I have my grandfather's with a lot of things and the one thing about bricks is I what I'm doing right now is I I start a bit of a you know the base then I go up and um, don't put each brick in line you know split on part that helps take the load and then just keep going on that so that's kind of what I'm doing right now is I'm just starting to work work my way up I'm not trying to do it all you know all at once I, I want to do it like um, brick builders do, and so that's what I'm doing. So, and trust me, you're definitely going to want tweezers. So I got, uh, I was trying, as you can see, sometimes the tweezers like to throw stuff. Um, I was trying to use uh, my other regular um, clear glue, you know, our liquid glue, and I liked it, but it wasn't setting the, it wasn't setting fast, and so I decided to go and I got a piece of tape over here, and I got, I got um, some of my CA, CA out, and that's what I'm using the toothpicks for, is just to help me draw a little bit on the onto the um, the brick, and then that way I can, uh, I can make sure they get good and secure really really fat you know really quick more quick than normal you know um, I really like that but sorry if my hands in the way I'm just trying to share this with you guys and there's another one and I'm sorry the angles off but this is the easiest way for me to see it and let me see if I can get a little bit closer let me try okay let's try right there so yeah as you can see guys you can see the stages that I'm, I'm going in and working the brick up and I poured I I didn't I poured the brick out of the bag I got a nice little cup but I wanted to get some where I can just easily grab it with my my tweezers and that's what I'm doing so this is this is me laying brick down guys but like I said just Take your time, be patient, don't try to hurry this, trust me. That's why I said this dot, the diorama, that's why I got the tiger done um, most of the way first, is so I could, you know, do this and get my, come on now. And that way I could uh, 
could focus on this because it's going to take a little bit now that the uh, like I said with the uh, tiger being all pretty much done except for the weathering and the other little things I'm going to do but um, the reason I got it to that point so I could work on this is because when I get all the buildings up on the diorama I'm going to try um, to do a, a universal um, or an all it uh, weathering at the same time so that it's pretty close and together you know it's not too bad and I'm sorry if it keeps blurring in and out because my hands go in front and then I do that but this is how I do this guys I mean let me zoom the camera out and show you not too shabby huh yeah it's gonna take a little bit and then the great thing once this all gets good and dry then I can take and sand it down and and try to get a little bit more even at least on the definitely on the bottom and then just do a light brush or a light sanding on that but this is what I'm doing guys right now this is where the Tiger Tank builds coming to or at right now so I'm gonna get back to work okay guys well it's getting to that point where I gotta start shutting things down for now so I can get the video put together but thought I'd share that with you so yeah getting brick laid down and then yeah getting getting work done on the dire getting the dire almost started going so yeah i'm happy with that so these like i said these guys are some real itty let's see if i can do that look at that those things are itty bitty but hey you know i love this so with that guys i hope you have a great happy and safe weekend have a happy and safe week next week and i'll see you back here on the bench